Thank you. That was nice. Good morning, children of God. Morning. Welcome to worship today. A few announcements I want to point out in the bulletin. On page two, there's some special notes of thanks, including from Bill McPherson, who's doing quite well. And he says, thank you for, for our prayers and support, of support last week. And of course, um, from our church, we appreciate everybody who's partici who participated in the movie night. And then in, as we go towards the back, on page 11, Vacation Bible School starts at Christ's on June 5th, and, and all kids are welcome. There are, um, on J Thursday, June 1st, is a funeral service for Bert Miller, Bernita Miller. I don't know if, if you knew her. Um, she's uh, Gary and Dwayne's mom. Um, Neil was her husband. Anyway, her funeral is Thursday, and then Friday is a graveside service for Larry McLaughlin. Um, no Bible study until June 12th for the, um, for the women. And then the uh, schedule of people for June is on the back. So those are kind of the big deals going on. Are there any other announcements? I, coffee, of course. Coffee and cookies after church. Any others? Okay. We look like a quiet bunch. Let's begin our worship on page three with the confession and forgiveness. Please stand as you're able. As always, we invite the Holy Spirit to be present with us. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. God of all mercy and consolation, come to the help of your people turning us from our sin to live for you alone. Give us the power of your Holy Spirit that we may confess our sin, receive your forgiveness, and grow into the fullness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned from you and given ourselves into the power of sin. We are truly sorry and humbly repent. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things we have done and things we have failed to do. Turn us again to you and uphold us by your spirit so that we may live and serve you in newness of life through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us, even when we were dead in sin, and made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Our hymn is 627. Sins and not his own when he 
we continue on page four. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house, and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Amen. We pray the prayer of the day together. It's found on the front of the Celebrate insert. O oh God, on this day you open the hearts of your faithful people by sending into us your Holy Spirit. Direct us by the light of that Spirit that we may have a right judgment in all things and rejoice at all times in your peace through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may be seated. bear with me here because I haven't read through this. <laughs> no, John wasn't going to be here. When the day of Pentecost had come, the apostles were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. <clears throat> and at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the nati native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, and, Ma and Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, and both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in their, our own language we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing in, with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall be, see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days, I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show portions, portents in the heavens above. The word of the Lord. Oh, Thanks I'm be not to God. Here, sorry. <laughs> and signs on the earth below blood and fire, and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 12. No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit and there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. 
To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing by this one Spirit, to, one, to another the working of miracles, to another prophesy, to another the discernment of spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. All these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually just as the Spirit chooses. For just as a body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body through many are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we are all made to drink of one Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand as you're able for the reading of the gospel. We start with the gospel acclamation in the middle of page five. Alleluia, come Holy Spirit, fill the lives of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love. Alleluia. The gospel according to John, the 20th chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated. Is Lily feeling a little shy? Thanks for coming up. I appreciate it. Do you know what these things are? We used to call them pinwheels, but I think they're called whirly gigs or have different kinds of names. And, and the idea is they, if you blow on them, they spin. Just here, in fact, I'll get you your own because I want you to have one. Well, this one is your very own. And if you don't want it, then you can share it with somebody else. How's that? And it is a little sharp on the bottom because I think they're meant to go in the ground, so just be a little careful there, okay? So if you blow on it, it whirls. And why I wanted you to have this today is to remind you of the Holy Spirit. In our first lesson that Carla so graciously read, probably the hardest one in the entire scriptures when it gets down to those names, um, she, it, uh, it talks about a, the sound of a rushing wind. I mean, the Holy Spirit is so powerful and so that's why I thought this would be a good reminder of the Holy Spirit. And then when Jesus talks about the Holy Spirit, he breathes on them. And, and again, that's breath or wind. And even in Genesis, it talks about the wind and the Spirit. So I thought this would be a good reminder for you of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is part of the Trinity. We talk about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is what gives us power and energy and and helps us be able to share the good news of the gospel. So that's what I wanted to tell you today. Do you have any questions? No. Okay, I also wanted to point out, we've changed colors today. We've gone to red, there's red on the altar, and red on the uh, pulpit, and of course I've got red on, and some people wore red. And the reason we wear red is it's to remind us that the Holy Spirit is also when the Holy Spirit came, it's kind of when the church started. So this is kind of like happy birthday to the church. Shall we say a prayer? 
Shall we pray? Okay. Dear Lord, thank you for your spirit that gives us the strength and wisdom and, and power that we need to share your word with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Would you like a treat? And thank you so much. It's always great when you come up. You're welcome. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. How would the headlines of that day read? Sounds of rushing wind reported where thousands gathered. Followers of Jesus take a stand. Flames seen, building not damaged. Translators not needed for travelers. <coughs> Harvest festival results in unusual event. Before Jesus was taken into heaven, Jesus told the disciples to wait in Jerusalem for the Holy Spirit to give them power. While they waited, they prayed constantly. On the day of Pentecost, we are told, the disciples were all together in one place. They were in the same place, in the same location, and they were there for only one reason. Jesus told them to be there. From Acts chapter 1, verses 4 and 5, on one occasion, this would be after Jesus' resurrection, but before his ascension, on one occasion when Jesus was eating with them, he gave them this command, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift of my Father that my Father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. And then just a few verses later, Jesus says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Jesus told them to be there. Because they obeyed, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, came upon them and gave them courage and power to be witnesses for Jesus. They were energized unstoppable. These men turned followers of Jesus suddenly became ambassadors for Christ, spreading the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ to Jews, Gentiles, and to people from Jerusalem to the ends of the earth. This marks the beginning of the Christian church. Jesus told them to be there. It was Pentecost which is a celebration of the wheat harvest. And for the Jews, it was also called the Festival of Weeks. It was seven weeks of seven days um, since the Passover. So including the Passover, it's 50 days. And it's a in addition to being a celebration of the Passover, it's also a celebration for the Jews of the time that the Torah was being given to Moses by God. So Jews and converts to Judaism from all over the known world were in the city of Jerusalem for that celebration. Jesus told them to be there, to wait. It seems sort of vague, wait for what? What could they expect? Isn't it interesting though that Jesus didn't say to the disciples, go ahead and start witnessing, the Holy Spirit will catch up with you. He said, wait. Waiting in Jerusalem to trust and faith. Jesus had often talked about the Holy Spirit, but what did that mean, really? Well, it meant that they would never be the same. The power of the Holy Spirit that they saw working in Jesus was now theirs. And since the disciples were in Jerusalem, where Jesus told them to be, the gospel message and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit was witnessed by people who were there for the celebration and then returned to their hometowns and shared what they had seen and heard. So already the news 
of Jesus Christ was being spread beyond the walls of Jerusalem and into other parts of the world. The Spirit moved, Peter spoke, the crowd listened, and the Church of Christ was born. We experience the Holy Spirit in worship, in prayer, through scripture, and through our sacraments of baptism and Holy Communion. And like the early church, we are drawn into a community by the power of the Holy Spirit. The disciples and other followers gathered and prayed and waited because Jesus told them to do so, uniting them in a common belief. And it's the same belief that we confess. Jesus is alive. Jesus died, he was buried, and he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he will return. Jesus is the Savior, the Messiah, the Son of God. And the church is more than just a social gathering, and it's much more than a one hour a week stop in our lives. We are directed to pray for one another and care for each other. We grow in our faith and our relationship with Christ by studying scripture and through prayer. And most of all, we worship God together and glorify God by our actions in worship and beyond the walls of the church. As a church, we serve others in our community and in our world. We pray for peace and we work for justice. Because we love our creator, we work to protect creation. Jesus showed us how to live by how he cared for the poor and how he treated women and how he ministered to outcasts. The Holy Spirit gives us the power and energy to fulfill God's mission. The God we worship is a living and loving God. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we become ambassadors of the gospel, telling others about Jesus' love and forgiveness. It isn't necessary to have a degree from a seminary or to understand the intricacies of theology. Just share what Jesus has done for you. How has being a Christian made a difference in your life? Let others know that Jesus offers peace the world cannot give. The world seems more violent and divisive as the years go by, but we take comfort in knowing the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ our Lord. Go to Jerusalem and wait, Jesus told the disciples, you will receive power. This was a gift from the Heavenly Father and the only thing they had to do was to wait and be where Jesus told them to be. Thankfully, the promise didn't end 2,000 years ago. The promise includes today, right now, right here. We have the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit gives us the courage and the boldness to be the church, the community of believers, spreading the, and living the good news of forgiveness and eternal life. What could the headlines read today? Lives changed when the gospel is shared. Live like a believer. The power of God shakes the world. Peace is possible. Ordinary people spread the gospel without fear. God's forgiveness is for everyone. 1 Corinthians Chapter 12, verse 3 says, No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. A more positive way to make this declaration is, We are filled with the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we boldly proclaim Jesus is Lord. We are filled with the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we boldly proclaim Jesus is Lord. The Holy Spirit is the source of the life and power of the Christian church. It is what distinguishes us from any other organization in the world. As the Father has sent me, Jesus said, so I send you. This is the mission of the Christian church, to be sent out to serve just as the Father sent Jesus. Amen. Our worship continues with our next hymn, and that is hymn number 401. your leading 
discernment of this liberty. Please stand as you're able. We continue by confessing our Christian faith using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. is a privilege to take everything to God in prayer. United in the hope and joy of the resurrection, let us pray for the church, the world, and all in need. The prayers of intercession are found in the back of the Celebrate. Passionate God, you sent your spirit through the gifts of fire, wind, and word. As you equip the disciples for their work, Equip us to bring the good news to all those who long for you. Hear us, O God. Restoring God, wind and flame bring life and destruction throughout the world. We pray for those who work with wind energy, for migrating birds, for protection for lands facing destructive fire, for forestry managers and firefighters. Renew the face of your earth. Hear us, O God. Ever-present God, your spirit embraces all. Send your spirit of understanding to immigrants, refugees, and any experiencing language barriers. Bless the work of translators, ESL teachers, ambassadors, and international peace organizations. Safely guide those fleeing war and danger. Hear us, O God. Merciful God, you anoint us with your spirit. Bless nurses, doctors, midwives, chaplains, counselors, and emergency personnel, and hospice workers as they care for those in need. We pray for all who seek your comfort. Especially, Lord, we pray for Rod and for Irvin and Everett and his family and Jan and Riley and Perry and Joanne and Laverta 
and Gail and Josh and Michael and Dan and Kurt and Stephanie. We pray for the family and friends of Bert and Larry. Hear us, O oh God. Generous God, you impart a variety of gifts. Set aflame the desire to learn from one another, especially those who differ from us. Make your presence known through missionaries, peace workers, and through the outreach ministries of our synod and community. Hear us, O oh God. Life-giving God, we give thanks for those who have died to new life in you. As we observe Memorial Day, we remember those who died in military service. Comfort all who mourn and usher in a world where the war is no more. Hear us, O oh God. Rejoicing in the victory of Christ's resurrection, we lift our prayers and praise to you, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. You may share Christ's peace with each other. We have the offering, please. Thank you. Thank you. Pray the offering prayer together. It's found on the, on the top of page eight. God of good gifts, receive these and all our offerings as we present them in faithful service for the sake of your gospel. Prepare our hearts to receive you in this meal as you pour out your very presence through Jesus Christ Jesus, the wellspring of eternal life. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, Fulfilling the promise of the resurrection, you pour out the fire of your spirit, uniting in one body people of every nation and tongue. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come to the table, for all is now ready. You may be seated. Christ given for you, the body of Christ given for you, the body of Christ given for you, the body of Christ given for you. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. given for you, the body of Christ 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 given for you. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. given for you the body of Christ 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 given for you May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. body of Christ given for you the 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 body of Christ given for you
may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. The body of Christ given for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Please stand as you're able. Let us pray. Holy One, at your table we have tasted the goodness of Jesus. With the eyes of our hearts open to your promise, empower us to hear the needs of our neighbors and touch the world with your love. Amen. The God of all, who raised Jesus from the dead, bless you by the power of the Holy Spirit to live in the new creation. Amen. Our hymn is 582. Go in peace. Serve the risen Savior. Thanks. Thanks.